My name is Shaquille and that's Macmillan. I'm going to tell you how fine arts started. And it, and it appeared, economics trade 10. Fine arts is the living primary for excellence or beauty, designing from application art, which also has to show some, some particular Christianity. This type of art battles back to period during the early of Athens from the 16th century onwards through this new wish to enter the new cultural region on. So basically, I'm going to tell you that like, fine arts making you to me is like people try to do art really good and try to make make it to the art program because like, you know, like some people like, for example, when somebody go to college or something, um, yeah, when somebody go to college or something, they like try to make it to the art program. They try to go to the best and try to um, live out their dreams and the dreams can come true and stuff. And go to the museum and put they when they make the art, they can put the art in the magazines or in um, um, any countries or state so they can be well known or something and complete their dreams. So that's how fine art starts to me. That's what I think. So bye guys. Colin Edwards, and I'm here to tell you about the three types of fine arts. The first one is visual art. Visual art is a form of art that uses any medium to signify the artist's idea. Applied art is a portion of visual art, and it can be defined as art that has real-world application. Performing arts is that form of art which includes dance, music, opera, films, theater, drama, dr magic shows, and stand-up comedies. Famous artists during the year. Andy Warhol. He was a famous artist for, for being a commercial artist and he has been recognized for a caption for Campbell's Soup, Marilyn Monroe, and Elvis Presley. Pablo Picasso was a famous for his abstract and modern art and had pretty big goals for living a big life and was interested in cubism. Vincent van Gogh was psychologically unstable and had some rough times uh, during his past and he uses thick breast strokes and vivid colors for his portraits. Leonardo da Vinci. He was an amazing artist and made multiple masterpieces known as Mona Lisa, Last Supper, and The Lady with an Emery and made technologies as well as aircraft, tanks, automobiles. Rembrandt was was a Dutch master and a great painter and admired for his vision realism. And his famous paintings were Jewish Bride and the Storm of the Sea Gallery. And Michelangelo was famous for more than just art, sketches and sculptures. And his famous painting was the Stealing Mural and the Sistine Chapel. most re rejoyable paintings. So um, it had new the it knew in the night 1495 that began painting the last super on the wall of the retaliate doing hall of the Santa Maria del Gaysen Child in the computer in, in night of 14 1498. So that's all it's a half length portrait painting by the Italian red resonance artist Leonardo da Vinci that has the most described as the best known, the most visited, the most written about, the most sung about, the most parodied art of work in the world. The Last Supper is a late 15th century moral painting by the Italian artist Leonardo da Vinci housed by the refectory of the convent of Santa Maria degli Grazi in Milan. 
It is one of the Western world's most recognizable paintings, and its location is in Santa Maria, and it was created during 1495 during 1498, and the medium is tempera gesso. Girl with the Pearl Earring is an oil painting by the Dutch Golden Age painter John Hayes Vermeer, dated a uh, century 1665, going by various names over the centuries. It became known by its present title towards the end of the 20th century after the large pearl earring worn by the girl portrayed here. Its location is in Marie Tihuis. Um, and the period was the Dutch Golden Age, and the genre was portrait. A Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grande Jatte, painted in 1884, is John Stewart's most famous work. It is the leading example of a pointillist technique executed on a large canvas. Swartz Seward's composition includes a number of Parisians at a park on the banks of the river scene. The artist is Georges Seurat, um, created during 1884 through 1886. The subject was people relaxing at a La Grande Jatte in Paris, and the locations of this painting is in the Art Institute of Chicago, and the art Oh, that's it. And the periods were pointillism and neo-impressionism.